Mobile group is not about games, you know, you know, games. So you know what, what actually he said that he, he, uses, he uses it for? Cuts it for? Salmon. <laughs> God. <laughs> he says, I mean, my the salmon story knife. just became so tilting. <laughs> <laughs> is, if you're going to be a chef, it's good to have a good knife. Yeah. You know? That, of course, is the advice we all tuned in for. <laughs> Real hot take. King six, slap of his own wrist there. Chris nets off. And king eight for Chris. These two quickly developing a little bit of rapport. And turn, asking for some mercy out of the big blind of Zuboff. Compliance from the 6-4 offsuit. So to a flop we had. BVB to Jackson and Ace. Compliance from the 6-4 offsuit. So to a flop we had. BVB to Jackson and Ace. Queen high in front. Thirty K. Little see who play. Third pot. Zuboff does release. Not the toughest muck he'll make on the day. Twenty six players remain. We are in the money of the 40K event number four. And we are going up to 20K, 40K. And a 40K ante. Got a uh, chip count from elsewhere in the room for us? Oh, yeah. Griff? You know I do. Who's on the Couldn't shorty? Who's up to top? Ask. Talk to me. Let's talk about the shorties because there are a lot of them. Benjamin Chalot. Four big blinds, 170K. Stoyan Maranziev with 195K, just five blinds. My boy Sam Grafton, only eight big blinds. Rizai, the final table is of that 30K, nine bigs. So there's some shorties. Jason Kuhn, big implications, of course, for the Ivan Liao player of the year race, 16 blinds. He is in 21st place of the 26 remaining. Danny Tang in 18th with 17 blinds. Of course, he's the leader of that Ivan Liao, Player of the Year race, so a lot of implications. Henrik Kecklin, we saw him goofing off with Kuhn earlier. Nikita just got to walk with Queens, by the way, as oh. you're taking us through that. Go on, though. Yeah, we got Ivy and uh, Chidwick both in the top 10. Very exciting. They're around 27, 28 bigs. Chris Moneymaker, despite fumbling with that King 7 hand, did win that nice big all-in with the King Jack against Santosh. He's in sixth. Leon, Leon Sturm in fifth. Mario Mosbach has been in that top three, top four for a while now. He's in fourth with 55 blinds. Anson U, uh, U, 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 U in third place with 66 blinds. First timer Artsyam Lasowski. He is in second place with 81 blinds. And the chip leader, well, we know who he is. He's ours. He's our guy because he's on our feature table. Mm -hmm. Nikita Kuznetsov with 3.35 He did slip, by the way, to fifth overall early on the day, but yeah. has since planted his flag. Yeah, Back sometimes some rowdy American just neck, you know. goes a little <laughs> wild against you <laughs> when you have aces. That's <laughs> what can happen at Triton. There you go. That, that's more effective. <laughs> <laughs> Moneymaker with the pulse Should concealer assist. I'm a nice guy.
Squaring off with Nikita. 6-4 deuce board. Backdoor spades in a gutter. For the preflop limper, top pair and backdoor diamonds for Chris. He's not going to be going anywhere in the face of this C-bet. 80 into 120. Here at this new blind level. Seven on the turn, and now Kuznetsov open ended. Obviously, money moneymaker can have a, a lot of this board as a check back pre. Yeah, Chris, not going to be thrilled by this seven necessarily, but it's going to think this jack six is good enough at the time. A second barrel of two hundred and eighty thousand, and careful, Nikita, because this is a stickier than average force to your left. Yeah. What if I have king seven? Good hand. Beat king seven? One card. One card. I'll take this one. Ooh, hoo -hoo, that's a good card right there. <laughs> Ace high? No, I'd, king I'd, 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 I'd pair of sixes. A lot of information the on the plot. Money makers given up here. Um, we know, of course, that was just a two barrel with a straight draw. I think Jack six, far too good a hand to be folding there most of the time on the turn. Oh. Um, the one thing we know is that Chris, I think, really is a trust his gut yes. kind of guy, Seven and that gut eight? deviates mm. considerably from five. time to time mm -hmm. okay. from the generally expected GTO sort of responses would be, but it does seem to work for him. <laughs> yeah, but all the same, you know what, I don't want to completely let him off the hook because the reality is, you know, he was facing a $285,000 chip bet there on the turn with a pretty strong second pair, heads up, blind on blind, and quite comfortably folded, but also found himself putting in 800k with king high on <laughs> yeah <laughs> four bet pot. yeah it you seems know, so incongruent I, yeah i just but mean that like you know the 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 edges of both sides need to come in, come in a bit from him you know as much as i can appreciate that he's going to make some tighter and this speaks to what i was saying yesterday you know one of the best pieces of advice i ever got was from 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 mike mcdonald when i asked him for some advice early on in my career and he said be looser in spots people wouldn't expect and tighter in spots people wouldn't expect. And he's very, very good at doing that. I just mm. maybe want him to, to bring it in a little more um, so to not get in too much trouble like that king seven hand and maybe not let these kind of players that are going to pounce on weakness and fold second pair blind on blind. Thomas Santern. King Jack, who wants some? Perhaps Zubov with ace-nine suited in the cutoff. This is a big portion of the 875 that he's got. Yeah, I think the suited nature is going to put him in here. You know, normally when you see a 14 big blind shove from hijack, you're not always thrilled to put in ace-nine from the cutoff. But with that bounty to consider, Zubov goes for it and is going to love what he sees. Played as a jam, some of which will be hauled back for Zubov. One and a quarter million in the middle. Can Thomas find another double? Jack eight four, and he's definitely poised to do it. Not a club to speak of for for Zubov. King queen, and no extra equity on the turn either, as he did have some backdoor straightiness. Let's just keep the ace away from this thing. That's what Thomas is thinking. <laughs> Nine. That would be not enough for Zubov. Yeah. 
Может, это было 415. Thomas, who came in with a demi baguette, now looking pretty full size. Yeah. I confess I've been grinding the chat just to get a little bit more intel on this stingray. Sambal stingray, barbecue stingray preparations offered up by the chat. I'll give it a taste. By the way, somebody was asking about squab. By the way, delightful. We call it that because if you say it's pigeon, people aren't really as inclined to eat it. But tasty little bird. Oh, yeah? Quail as well, but they're so cute with the little thing on their head. You know, I just got a bunch of quail in my neighborhood in Vegas. I, you know, I mean, if one hopped into my, my barbecue, I'd probably just shut the top and, you know, we let <laughs> things happen. But bar that, I'm not. Anyhow, shout out PETA. I love animals. I really do. Depending on how they taste. I'm just kidding. Okay, look, I'm done. All right. Not eating meat, but just <laughs> with that whole... Where are we going? Queen Nine suited through <laughs> Shen Chao Shen. Small blind. Mucked around to him. Pocket eights for Andrew Chen. Have not seen him involved. Presumably yeah. he'll seek to take us upstairs. Yeah, 17, 18 big blinds effective here. Going to want to induce this because he has a covering stack. Shen really wants him to limp shove. I think with Shen's particular hand, he's going to be aiming more to limp call. Not going to see a ton of, I think, ISO bluffing because of the nature of the bounties. You really want to, once you put chips in preflop, you really want to put all of them if you're going to put them in. So I don't think Chen's going to do a lot of pure bluff raise folding. Has the pocket eights, wants Shen to shove. Well, Shen, not going to do any leveling of any sort. Just take the price. To the flop we go. Two overs. Heart in the window, but no further assistance on the ace 4 4 board. Range advantage presumed to belong to Chen. In position, action check to him. Chen going to want to put out some protection there to fold out equity from hands pretty much exactly like this. Your queen nine suiteds, your queen ten offs. King nine, those kind of hands, does it, takes it down. And I believe wins his first pot of the feature table, finally gets activated, the Canadian. Yeah. Let's talk about his Montenegro stop here. Mr. Chen first joined us in Cyprus back in 2023. He went one for six. Here in Montenegro, he's coming fresh off of a 27th place finish in the 30K 8 max. Failed to cash in the two 25Ks before it. But the seal has been broken. Someone I played a lot against in my online heydays. <laughs> ten, 10 plus years ago, so he's been around for a hot minute. He's eight on the button here for Shen. Oh, wow. 
why is the clock paused? We gotta wait for hands to catch up. Do we have to wait for hands to catch up? The clock's paused. Do we have to wait for hands to catch up? How many? 560k jam here. Santurn with pocket four says, maybe I'm gonna get my third double on the day. He's the covering stack going into this one, but not far behind is Shen. Yeah, these are the big flips we go for in this bounty format. You want that envelope. Ace, queen, queen. And that is not what Thomas was hoping for. Five in the neighborhood, but it's gonna take only a four to end Shen's run. Can the ace eight hold? Yes, indeed. Be seated, sir, and do so with twice the chips and change than you had moments ago. Yeah, Thomas needs to be slowed, slowed down a bit, eh? You know, like, relax. You don't have to win every all in. Meanwhile, Shen, it's nice to see the newcomer be given a shot, you know, keep running it up here. I was searching around. I'm not sure whether or not it's picked up by our mics, but that sound has re-entered the room away from the booth. It's either the faint whistle of someone helming a carnival parade in Rio, or, of course, the citrus slaying machine that's serving up fresh OJs behind the bar. Which I gotta get me one of those, by the way, because the consumer edition of those things is real dusty. Like you kind of, or like the manual one, you know, it's plastic, and you're just mm. out there, forearms getting sore. No, like I'm no, not no. in for that. I just, I need something like that. I feel like you could hurt yourself on. on I that haven't had a fresh OJ actually. Yet. Yeah, I'm gonna have one. What, would you like a fresh OJ, Griff? Do you mind? I'm on top of that. <laughs> How do you say excuse me in Serbian? <laughs> I think that's a good I'm first step. Sure. That is that is a good first one to learn. I got this. Stand by. Your aircraft, Griff. Okay. You, you okay right. in the cockpit oh, yeah, yeah, by yeah, yourself? I'm fine, here? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm on top of this. What were all these buttons do? Hang on. Taking a few steps. Offset. I am constrained by cable. Can you guys hear this machine? This thing is insane. <laughs> I mean it's There we go. Hit these chip counts, Griff. I'm on this. Yeah. Here we are with the chip counts. Guys, you've been watching. You know what's going on. Nikita Kuznetsov, all the way up to 88 big blinds, 3.5 million. He is our overall tournament chip leader as well with 23 left. Chris Moneymaker, been kind of all over the place. You guys love him. We love him here in the booth. He's been a wild card today. Um, very ambitious plays, a couple of lucky breaks, um, a couple of tight folds, and uh, a couple of... You know, maybe the best bluff we've seen on any of the featured tables in this tournament with that 8-9 against Shen. So he's been really entertaining to watch as we get back into the action. Nikita needing a time bank chip for 10-3 off. Now, I mistakenly thought that it was before Santern got in against Shen that he had 650 he was actually 650 back after he had made the call. So hence yeah. why he's fighting on with a considerable number of chips. So you might be wondering, especially if you're just tuning in, why is this guy, you're not at a bubble. Why is he raising almost three X with 10, three offsuit? Well, it is entirely designed to get in the last 220,000 from a hand such as this against Alexander Zubov in the big line. This is the intricacies of bounty, mystery bounty uh, tournament poker. Kuznetsov recognizing that Zubov might be prepared to play for the six big blinds, and that's going to be worth it for him because that stack is worth $64,000 when it comes to um, the average bounty pull. But the problem is Chris Moneymaker flatting behind, right? Chris not letting Kuznetsov get away with it without a fight. And now maybe Zubov would have been prepared to put in his ace, expecting Kuznetsov yeah, right. to be light. But Chris Moneymaker could be kind of strong, you know. Pesky so. development, right? But yeah. at the same time, I'm pretty sure that 
you know, Zubov has ideas that Moneymaker is marching to the beat of his own drum. This isn't necessarily a, a man who goes to the same church, if you know what but I mean. But how well is Ace Deuce going to play against two other dudes, right? We can see this is probably a best-case scenario. Uh, the, your, your two opponents sharing a 10, for instance, you know, but even still, you're only 46% to win this pot, and it, it does, does make up, you know, much more than the other two players, but you're still losing more than half the time here. Does make the fold. Yeah, and that will leave Moneymaker to dominate in position with this Jack-10 against, really, dust in the wind. Ace-King-Jack, both parties with the Broadway draw, clear benefits to holding the Jack for money. But note that there's that ability for Kuznetsov to really lean on us here. Under the gun opener, plenty of Ace X, King X, a part of the normal kit. But here, Mystery Bounty, unclear. So I don't think that I don't think that Kuznetsov necessarily has um, huge designs for this hand. It's just more about putting out that first bet um, so that the times moneymaker has pocket fives or two sixes, sevens, that he can just find a fold on the flop and uh, and you keep you sort of set the price with your equity with that Broadway gut shot. So yeah, Kuznetsov not, I don't think, very motivated to try to win this. Does he think his opponent could just have something like Jack? What? No, you block Jack 10, maybe Queen Jack and maybe fold in the river. But it would, it would require quite a large bet, and you might just get snapped off by Ace-8 suited or something. So I don't think Nikita's going to do it. But I have been wrong before. Well, it went bet call of 80,000 on the flop. You saw the two checks on the turn. Here we are. Totally unrelated river. No change in board texture in Nikita. So here's a question for you, Elliot. Does it affect Nikita's... If he knows that Chris Moneymaker folded middle pair in that previous hand, maybe what he's thinking about is, if I bet 400K here, will quick he fold checks. middle yeah. pair, you know? That's the money effect, though, you know? Yeah. When you know you're up against a stickier-than-average opponent, a lot of times, spots that we might otherwise be taking, we are dissuaded. So nice for Moneymaker as that round goes to him. And on the topic of rounds, our very own producer, James, has potentially upset any sort of culinary union situation that we may have had in place here at Maestro just based on the fact that he took it upon himself to deliver these beverages, maybe denying a, what would have been a, a nice gratuity to whomever it was that would have normally delivered it. But we do have a glimpse of the chip counts and two fresh orange juices yes. in the room. Now, breaking news, Griff. Talked about that high-pitched whine as those rinds get work. The pulp, the juice is all extracted in industrial order. Complaints have come down from the players about that noise. And player-centric are we here at Triton. The machine is being relocated, removed from wow. the room. We got the machine showered. Last two glasses of OJ. The last Bottoms two. up, my friend. Okay, this is my first glass go. of this stuff. Let's, Let's see what Martin and Citrus is all about. Time out here. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah. Oh, that that'll, is delightful. That'll really touch. That's that's uh. It's a shame it's going to be is unavailable. This some VIP stuff. I don't know if you feel like maybe we weren't, we weren't supposed to have this. This is crazy. Relax, Griff. I'm it's not looking for an invoice. It doesn't feel like just orange. It's just like. Yeah, there might be hints of mandarin. Yeah. Perhaps cross-pollination with tangerine, dare I say? <laughs> All in a call. Yeah. Massive <laughs> hands. Looking to get his stack pollinated <laughs> with some Kuznetsov rubles. <laughs> Boys. Having a laugh, I suspect. <laughs> this is not the onset of a friendship, but one that was pre-existing. 480 in the middle. Let's see if the flop will stay friendly to the two queens. So far, so good. Nikita does pick up jack outs. Turn is safe. And so is the river. 
flush wound to the boss stack. We'll pass a small package to his right. Shout out to Sam in the YouTube chat, by the way, who has stepped in to provide the following really poetic passage. He says, actual fresh squeezed OJ is the nectar of the gods. I concur. And while I'm no deity, daddy likes a taste. <laughs> Producer James stepping in to push back and say a Guinness is the actual nectar of the gods. No, that's the nectar of a cirrhosed liver. <laughs> James, okay? Your eight billionth tinny of Guinness is <laughs> generally not what the doctor ordered. Pocket <laughs> six is... Eighty to skate. I really did enjoy um, this one comment on YouTube where someone said, is this guy's name really Moneymaker? Yeah, believe it or not, we all thought that 21 <laughs> yeah, years yeah, ago yeah. And, and confirmed. Welcome to 21 years ago, yeah. yeah. Look up Chris Moneymaker WSOP on YouTube and uh, see where that takes you. I mean, open up a different window. Don't leave us. You yeah, know? Don't, don't, come on now. Don't guide people away from the Sorry, yeah, that was my What are you doing, Benjamin? <laughs> Zubov, chew it on King Jack suited here. Fresh off of the double, 480 back. He is still the leanest stack at this table cannot collect a bounty until you have more than somebody else at the table. And might that be what's on his mind in search for a potential spin? But this is under the gun posturing from Shen. Wow. So down goes the King Jack suit, okay. and apparently you're surprised to see it. Well, it's not that I'm... Okay, I, I'm obviously, I, understand. I appreciate I sounded surprised. It's just um, when we talk about the ranges, right, we expect them to be sort of looser as a as a tournament but it's because of the covering stacks being more prepared to call all ins light but that affects the short stacks and they're not prepared sometimes to shove 12 big blinds against an under the gun open with king jack suited because they're going to get called by sixes where normally maybe sixes would not be making that call so um the short stacks do have to be a little bit tighter because they're mm. just going to be getting called so often and you know that's that's how you get knocked out of a poker tournament yep. you're all in at risk there you go Flip sides to some coins. Ten suited. Ninety five if you do. King ten for Shen. See how he's feeling. Defense dominated, unbeknownst. Ace four three, couple of clubs. Kuznets off well in front. Give yeah, him a choice. I think Shen, based on sizing here, is gonna have a lot of reasons to actually continue with this King of Clubs. You know, we can see Kuznetsov does have ace ten, but he's just as often gonna have, you know red jack nine here and just be continuation betting you kind of need to protect um against these c bets and call with hands like this i think maybe like a red king 10 would fall into the category of okay i know i'm folding the best hand a lot here but i can't oh well it looks like he might just give it up 
Is this a decision influenced at all by bounty implications, or is this just a hand of poker being played in the same manner it would otherwise? I mean, there's... By Shen. Yeah. The thing is, is right now there are 23 players left. The chip leader who has a range advantage and is clearly very capable of just, like, betting, betting, betting into you. Is he betting on the flop? Is he going to... Is he going to shut down? It's just maybe it's a spot that just doesn't feel like it's worth fighting for. But you could see that he was upset about it, that he knew that he was folding the best hand with King-10, King-clubs. Like maybe it was for chips a bit too tight, but at this stage of the tournament just didn't feel comfortable battling with Kuznetsov in this spot. So I have to say, I was talking about how Sam Grafton was just down to eight big blinds in one of our short stacks. He has come all the way up to fifth in chips with 61 big blinds, has won a couple of crucial all-ins, nines against uh, Ertz's ace-10, which was huge for him, as well as ace-jack against 3-6, just keeps on building up all the way to 2 million. Squiddy. I'm sure we'll get him on another feature in due course. On the topic of things we're sure of, not quite the King-10 check fold. Could maybe go either way. Rather, one direction for Ace-King suited. Played as a jam here. Nikita. Comfortable release. About 12 minutes left on this level. Information while absent the screen available in the Triton Poker Plus app. Just another reason to maybe get you out there. Is that? Do I have that right, by the way, or were you looking on the wall? I could have sworn we had it at the clock. Yeah, I was looking at the app. Okay. King-10, yet again, Kuznetsov. Getting aggressive reactions from the rest of the field. Moneymaker always a candidate to do it. Just observe Ace-5 offsuit being employed on this occasion. Another 110K, the requirements. I think Nikita probably reads this as pretty strong. Like, why would he just come over after my limp with a weak hand here? So maybe some consideration of folding King-10, just because it doesn't play that well against the value range. You know, Moneymaker should never have a worse king, for instance. He should have Ace-King, King-Queen, King-Jack, you know, Queens, Ace-10, Ace-Jack, all these hands that are, you know, quite a bit better than King-10. But I think Kuznetsov has been sort of shown shown a little real, you know, given a little uh, opening into fight. understanding the kind of hands that uh, Chris Moneymaker has been playing and moves he's been making and, and wants to get involved with him. Yeah. And maybe make up for the fact that he perhaps misplayed the aces on the turn there um, and well, just wants to frankly get involved. Look at the line being employed. He opened, faded the three bet, and now leads into Chris under the presumption that money is not interacting with this board often enough to continue. But if there's a guy who isn't afraid to get into murky water, it is Chris Moneymaker. Obvious reasons on this occasion with the gut shot straight draw. He makes the call, board pairs on the turn, 
And little does Chris know it, but ace high is good. Let's see if Nikita, with this sort of turn card, feels as though the second barrel is warranted. Because there's a lot of just two overs type of stuff that might peel, right? Yeah, I mean, Nikita is going to think that Chris is going to have, you know, something like an ace queen, ace jack sometimes. You know, the six is a difficult card to bet because it makes it less likely that you, Nikita Kuznetsov, have it. Mm -hmm. But if you just sort of want to play exploitatively and you just think Moneymaker, you know, you've just been shown Moneymaker will fold middle pair in a spot on the turn. If I bet big enough on the turn here, can I get him to fold an ace-queen high, an ace-jack high? In this case, an ace-five high. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty, uh, pretty astute deduction. Um, Some king of clubs relevance? Asking. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, it, yeah, no, absolutely. That's a very, very good point. Um, that does eliminate, you know, your king jack suited of clubs, king queen, ace king. Yeah, that is relevant. Although played as a flat one, maybe removes some of the upper crust of those Broadway suited combos from Chris's range. Well, it was quite a, sh it was quite a small lead, and also it was moneymakers. Um, three bet pre right, he three bet to one fifty, and then. Oh, forgive me. I thought it was tough. played as a flat. So, let me back off of that thought, Griff. Apologies. And now money's really being put in the storage locker right now. I mean, this is a third of his stack almost. And that's obviously on his mind because he knows a call here brings it to 1.7, leaving him about 1 million. And on that kind of SPR, is he really going to be prepared, unimproved, to make the call on the river? So a little bit of future game and lack of future prospects perhaps coming together to influence the muck. Yeah, and I think Kuznetsov just made something up to himself. I think he recognized that maybe he blew it on the turn a little bit with Moneymaker, with the aces. <laughs> You know, it was, uh, you know, if Moneymaker had queens or something, kings or ace queen or something in that hand, you know, it would have just been whatever, get the money in. That six lead there for 550, even though it maybe doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense, it still works. It's an exploitative play, and I think that, that he's, he's happy with himself that he found it. Now listen, we've had a few glimpses now at Kuznetsov, and those chips can certainly feel safe and secure with that captain at the helm, yeah. it would appear. Seven off, undaunted by the damages moments ago. Moneymaker mounts back up. Suited king in the big for Zubov. How much do you have, Bullsort? Open wow. ender for Moneymaker up against a flush draw after the defense by the Russian. Tantalizing prospects. Yeah, and if there was a if there was a world where this is playing not for stacks in your standard no limit hold'em tournament, in a bounty, you have to imagine it's just all going in there. But Zubov and wow, this is yeah. Yeah, this money is going in. Let's flip it out. There's the check raised to 360,000 after the money maker C bet of 100k. And we are off to the races. Quite happy Zubov will be to be removing a couple of the open-ender outs in terms of spades, and not to mention just have the best hand with King High. Two to come. Lots to fade. 
The seven of spades on the turn ices it. Zubov hits the flush. And Team USA versus Team Russia has become a bit of a theme. It's a warm war, if you will. Not cold, warm. Yeah, and it's not, uh, you know, as Zubov makes that flush on the turn, it's, it's not a huge chunk of Moneymaker stack. It's just a flush wound. Well, if you're looking to avoid all manner of wounds while you're out there playing your craft, playing in your local poker game, live, online, wherever it is, you cannot argue with the benefits of solvers. Optimal decisions in high-pressure spots can be aided by the GTO Wizard AI. It's got you covered. You can study any situation using any bet size. It is truly the ultimate tool to prepare yourself for the critical moments on the felt. Check it out at gtowizard.com. He's Jack. Gonna get checked out by Shen. Jack 10 off for Sen turn. Is it? Who's oh, nets off the customer? Quite affordable. For him to take flops, does so with king eight, which is well behind on an ace queen seven board. Shen, plenty of hand. Obviously there is some tread lightly implications whenever we are squaring off against boss stacks, but a solid hand is a solid hand. Yeah, 30 big blinds here. Ace Jack gonna feel very happy about just getting money into the pot. Yeah, sure. Especially against that big blind defense range, which we deem quite broad from Kuznetsov, who does let this one go quite easily. Shen, currently second biggest stack at the table, but the distance between he and Kuznetsov is broad, vast. A 47 big blind tundra. You ever been to Russia, Griff? You ever go out to Sochi? No. no. I've not either. That's. I want to go to St. Petersburg and Sochi. Maybe we go to Moscow. I want to go to Thailand, Philippines, Greece. Greece is on the list. How have you not been to Thailand? I don't know. It's my favorite food, too. Bro, just... I don't know if there's directs from Montenegro, but get on down. Thailand is a must. How close is it from here? Not close. Yeah. <laughs> why, so why, why'd you say that? I was like, wait a minute, I, is I it next door? I wouldn't rent a car. Is this our first vacation Griff. together? <laughs> Ace Deuce deemed a must by Kuznetsov, ripping into oh. napkins. Two lifeguards. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the old Deuce flash. Big flip. Suggesting he had pocket twos. It's funny. Is that referred to as big flip? No, it's oh. because he had nine three. Yeah, and so I get it. Yeah, showing two the live deuce. cards. The goo. We know all about the goo. You know about the goo? No. It's kind of that earful of patronizing. You know, chatter, banter that you give right. somebody, you know. Not really much substance to it, just trolley. 
So most of our conversations then since the goo. I mean, I I thrive in the goo. <laughs> You're a goo monster. <laughs> King Jack, not a monster, but he'll spook things up. Eighty, eight now for his compatriot to the left, Kuznetsov. Obvious presumptions of heightened activity, which we have observed. Plenty of data points to yeah, that end. Could just shove here. It's going to be 30 effective with Shen. And you're kind of forcing Zubov in. But maybe thinks this strong. this hand is actually maybe even like too strong. Like, let's just see if we can get... Zubov to shove in something like pocket fives if he ever thinks that I'm just like mucking about. I have been called a goober by people before. Is that is that connected a to the A bit different, uh, Griff, and also one of those admissions that fails to flatter, oh, dare really? I say. Okay. But, you know. I should probably look up the things call me before I yeah. say them on air. I, I, I do believe there was a candy company, chocolate-covered peanut, is referred to as a goober. But uh, covering Zubov is Kuznetsov. Reaches over and helps himself to a package. I'm not sure that came out exactly as I wanted it to. But, but interesting that, that Zubov just folds the King Jack, a very strong hand at the cutoff. 20 effective that maybe sometimes you think your opponent's just messing you about and can sure maybe shove <laughs> where you'd have some fold equity. But in a mystery bounty, you know that, that the rest of those chips are going in. She said stop. Six seven. Played as a cutoff limp. We've not yet seen this move, Griff. Is it in response to Moneymaker in particular? So we saw one limp with the King Ten from Nikita. So Was I, it? I think okay. he's starting to maybe do it a little bit. Mix that in a bit. Note um, that money with a couple of tens, legit kit. Yeah. But raising Last it up. Last time ace five, this time right? ten. So yeah, maybe it is just about being prepared to you know, play pots with Chris, but not wanting to be faced with these three bets because of how wide he's going to be Hold. opening. Back over to Nikita. Digs it in. Yeah, I do remember the extra 110K being invested at one other point. It may have been a blind versus blind. Here he is. Bottom pair on a king nine seven board. A couple of diamonds out there. A snap check back from money, despite having second pair effective. Now an ace rolls off. Snap check from Nikita. Snap check back from money. And a full shutdown. You see Chris. Kept getting worse. <laughs> With a... Fairly disgusted check back, but the chips are headed your way, sir. Huh? And that Not has I been folded, but I would have won. <laughs> Not a theme, but certainly something that has happened often enough to keep Chris at the over 30 big blind level, third in chips here at this feature, which will be giving way to another. As players are headed to a break, racking up, finding a new home. Nets off, far and away the chip leader. Same turn. 13 bigs up and over that 10 big blind stack. And uh, we do welcome you back to the desk. We are going to do so, of course, with a tall glass of vitamin C. Cheers, my friend. Thanks, I For I those that weren't with us, you, this is the aforementioned <laughs> delightful fresh orange juice. Just bear with us for a moment, if you would. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good when it hits your lips, isn't it? All right. Hitting the deck, hitting a lot of flops, taking down a lot of pots, Kuznetsov, the man sort of to kind of 
focus upon in terms of heading to this break here elsewhere in the room as we bring the new feature in. But he has looked very sound, a threat to punch a ticket to the final table this deep. Yeah, and I think he's really capitalized on the, you know, how wild our boy Chris has been playing today. Yep. He's been a little, bouncing a little um, off the walls a little maybe more than we're used to seeing from him. And Kuznetsov is just, I think, recalibrating. How do I want to play against someone that is kind of freewheeling like this? We've seen, um, you know, a little more limping and uh, some curious plays with that King-10 to sort of lead, lead, uh, maybe a bit unbalanced play. Um, but just in response, I think, to how Chris is playing, it's really been the story of those two um, so far on this feature table. All right, 21 players do remain out of our original 151 uh, Kuznetsov, the chip leader, as we discussed. Grafton in second right now. Lasowski in third. Average stack, 1.4 million. Good for 36 bigs. Some shorties do have some work to do. Looking at you, Roland Rakita, the only sub-10 big blind stack in the room. So with all of that said, we will go to the break along with the players. I am going to be stepping aside, relinquishing this seat to none other than Nano Noko. Randy Liu, Griff's going to stick with you. No more fresh OJ, but plenty of fresh takes. Don't go anywhere. More coverage of this 40K mystery bounty, which plays down to a winner, comes your way after this.